into my office one day in South Bend, a little lady came. And uh, she sat down. She didn't, I'd never seen her before. She didn't belong to our church. Her husband wouldn't even come inside. He said, he stayed outside. And she said, now, I know you won't be able to do me any good. Now, that was a nice way to begin, wasn't it? <laughs> Says, I've tried every doctor in town, and I've been to Mayo's Clinic three times, and my husband has spent many tens of thousands of dollars on me in the last 30 years, and nobody can find out what's wrong with me. I am sick, and nobody believes it. Well, I listened to that for a little bit, and I said, woman, look at me. And I said, when you go to a doctor and he gives you a certain prescription, do you, do you take the prescription? She said, yes. I said, all right. You've come to Dr. Summerall. Will you take my prescription, please? She says, I'll try. I said, all right. I said, if you'll do this, and come back in two days. That's the, doc that's the doctor's wag, you know. Come back in two days. <laughs> we'll see what happened to you. So I laid hands upon her, and I said, you deceiving spirit. When the Mayo Clinic three times says there's nothing wrong with you, ain't much wrong with you. <laughs> and I said, you spirit that hurts her in the head and all over her body, I've come now to serve notice on you that you're finished. And I'm going to cast you out of this woman. I laid my hands under her belly. And I said, come out. She shook a little. And I said, you're all right. It's out. And I said, you have to take the prescription. Tomorrow, I want you to go into the bathroom at your home, into your toilet, 25 times. And inside, I want you to close the door, and I want you to look in the mirror and laugh out loud at what you see in that mirror. <laughs> she said, really? I said, obey me. And be back in two days. Two days later, the husband came running in. He wanted to be first. He said, what did you do to my wife? And I said, nothing. I cast the devil out of her, but that's all. And, uh, well, he said, uh, I know she's been sad for maybe 20 years and not happy at all. But says, uh, the strangest thing's happening at my house. So she goes into the bathroom. <laughs> she closes the door and she says, ha, 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 And whatever I'm doing, I run and... <laughs> She's never laughed before. I said, it's all right, it's my prescription. She came in and I said, how do you feel? She said, wonderful. I said, did you know that you had healed yourself? No, she said, I didn't know that. That's why I said, you should read the Bible. It says, a merry heart doth good like medicine. <laughs> well, hallelujah! And we put a merry, a merry laughing heart inside of you. And it did the job for you. And I said, laugh until you die. <laughs> and you'll be a happy, happy woman. They still are happy people. He went on to be with the Lord, but she is still. Every time I see her, there's a big laugh on her face. You see. You've got to understand your insides to know who you are and what you are. And that's what we'd like to teach tonight. How many like the introduction? <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> I know you're hoping the rest of it won't be that long, but it's all right.